Hello! How are you? <laughs> Welcome to Total War Warhammer. And uh, I am Lazy Bones. So, on the last episode, we started a new campaign in the old world with the bloody hands. And, you know, playing that game, I realized something. I wanted to try something new with this game. But... I know, and I played with this clan I've never played before, so technically it was new for me. But it felt too familiar. I mean, I... I am a one playthrough type of guy. Like, I don't know, for some reason it's hard for me to play through games uh, over again. So, I mean, I beat the game with uh, the green skins, the empire, the dwarves, uh, the vampire counts. Uh, I never finished. <laughs> Uh, the Warriors of Chaos or the Beastmen. I'm really close though with uh, the Warriors of Chaos. I don't know how far. I don't remember how far I am with the Beastmen. But anyway, I wanted something completely new and not. Uh, uh, I've never played with these guys ever, not once. And I know through reading the descriptions earlier that things are much different uh, than the rest of the mechanics on the game for the other races so I don't know I think this is what I'm gonna do in order to make it uh, which one feels better I'm going to do like an episode one for this which was already released and then I'm gonna do an episode 1.1 with this with Bardella French accent and then the wood elves as a 1.2 and then I don't know I'll decide you know from watching it and from playing it see which one feels mm, more well I'm feels like I can do it <laughs> that I can play it uh, so this one's down up already on the channel <clears throat> And, uh, I don't know, it felt too familiar. It felt like I've played it already. I don't, don't want to do it. But if it's better than these guys, then I'm going to continue with the bloody hands. I kind of want to play Clan Algren, but... Algren. But, I mean, I already beat it, this in it. There are probably new stuff in there. Maybe I'll throw these guys into the mix. Or just play all the, the races that I haven't played before. Clans. Which would include this guy. Anyway, let's start a new uh, race. Are there a new race? Anyway, let's play. Oh. My reputation precedes me. Reputation. What's uh? Who's this? Britonia. My blade is ready. Oh. Leon. Lauren. Lauren. Lank. Oh man, I cannot read names. I'm the worst name reader <laughs> in the world. And then this guy. Or Gal. I hear the winds. The Fae Enchantress. You're new. Battle Pilgrims. Grail Guardians. Blessed Field Tribuches. I don't know which one's the most dominant guy. <laughs> They're all normal difficulty, so I mean that's not that bad. I will indulge you. Alberic de Bordello. Uh huh. Alberic starts with the Knight's Vow unlocked. Income from trade. Er. 5% trade agreement tariffs. Unit experience plus 2 for Bretonia Knights recruits. I got a burp. But it's. Uh, okay, it's gone. Oh. Which one's the best? Strength guy? and honor. Let's see. Pegasus Knights. Oh. Field Trebuchais. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, shoot. I don't know which one's the best. I didn't do any research you at all. Prophecy. Hmm. They would get attacked by the Beastmen. I remember that. Since they spawn right there. I will do... Bretonia. I think that they're the... King of Bretonia. The main people of this area like the empire is 
for all the other people on that side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to start on normal. And then as we progress during the game, we're going to bump up the difficulty. Uh, like I said, yesterday was the first time. Was it yesterday? The Bloody Hand was the first time I played this game in forever. So everything is kind of new again. Kind of. Cuts. Does war visit fair Britonia this day? It is no longer enough for the dukes to sit idle. It is time for the flower of Britonia to unfurl and reveal its thorns. Taking screenshots. <laughs> Thumbnail action. come to his court with a wealth of knowledge that will aid this errantry war. Like the grail companions of old, the dukedoms of Britonia will unite under the banner of their king. Can I take a screenshot of this? Oh. oh, that was new. I haven't seen that one before. Vampires, green skins, and beastmen alike are right to uh, anyway. Greetings to you, benevolent Royak. Blessed Royak. is your rule over Britonia. Yet darkness spreads from abroad and threatens your kingdom. The threat is real. It must be faced to the east. The greedy merchant princes of Marienburg conspire to consolidate their riches. Mm -hmm. Observe that much wealth flows into Marienburg, but very little emerges. Further south, mm. in the Grey Mountains, greenskins and dwarfs vie for control of the peaks. Whoever wins may yet cause trouble for you, my lord. Beyond, the wood elves in their mysterious forest protect their homes. Whilst at the coast, the Duke of Bordello is as unpredictable as the roiling sea and as secretive as the watery depths. Elsewhere, the unliving lords of Musilon wage war against mortal men. The bickering dukedoms ignore the looming threat, and so it falls to you to act, my liege. Only a united Britonia can face these growing perils. Raise your banner, King Leonker, and drive this evil from Leonker. the world in the lady's blessed name. That's how you pronounce his name. Leonker. My lord, the dukes of oh. Britonia have resided under a chivalrous code for many years. Honor this tradition. <clears throat> Build upon the great foundations of Gilles Le Breton. And lead the knightly orders forward to glory. Yes, sir. Chapter objective issued. The land of chivalry. My lord, the Dukes of Bretonia have resided under a chivalrous code for many years. Honor this tradition. Build upon the great foundations of oh boy, Giles de Breton, and lead the knightly orders. Forward to glory. Forward to glory. Yeah, yeah, I screwed that up. Objectives. Attain. Obtain. Obtain. Attain. Ah, oh, I lost it. I can't read today. Four hundred. Chivalry. Nightly. Reward. Treasury. Five thousand. Ooh. Oh. How to play? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I need this. I. Uh, I because I, I was watching this and I was like, what the heck is this stuff? How to play. Bretonia. Honor and chivalry. 
are the driving forces for all Bretonians. Call an errantry or in their defense. Chivalry is increased through noble actions and heroic victories and lost through dishonorable deeds. Your current chivalry level can be seen on the campaign interface at the top of the screen. There is no greater benefit of chivalry than the assistance of the Green Knight. This legendary hero can be called upon in times of need to destroy those that oppose you. Oh, the Green Knight was the guy who helped us. Peasants form- why is this red and this is green? Is this bad? Peasants form the black, black backbone of your army and economy. So be wary of using up your surplus of enlisting too many. Conquering new regions increase your surplus, enabling you to field more peasants in your armies without suffering a penalty to your farming economy buildings. Your current peasant economy surplus can be seen on the campaign interface at the top of the screen. <gasps> okay. So, uh, first things first. Whoa, why did it do that? Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I'm no noob at this, but I'm also no professional. Uh, I think I mentioned this in the first uh, episode. And, well, it's been a long time since I've played, which is why we're playing on normal. Uh, I do tend to pause during battles. I don't do any of that super spectacular 300 stuff fighting against 10,000 Persians or orcs <laughs> and somehow attain a super victory. No, I'm just a regular gamer casually playing this game and I will most likely suck. So if you're expecting, you know, amazingness, well, this channel may not be for you. But if you're here to just enjoy and watch and have a good time, well, then you set your keister on that seat and keep watching. Anyway, what the heck is all this stuff? Training field. Like I said, I've never played with Bretonia before, so this is, everything is new and I love it. Oh. Chivalric. Code. Every Bretonian lord knows the honor and chivalry come before everything. Aha, uh -huh. leadership, armor, that's nice. Growth and income from settlements. I want the money. I need it. Whoa, what the heck did I just click? Ah, uh, this is the tree. Ah, uh, click the building thing. All right. 5,000 the treasury. You seek the lady's favor. Who are we at war with? Where's diplomacy at again? Is this? Yes, it's this. All right, attitude. Wait, no, 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 treaties. Aha, Marienburg is right there. This guy's across into the north, and these guys are next to each other. Okay. Who do we have close ties to? Are we? We're not trading. Uh, you want to trade there, Britonia. buddy? Hmm? You wanna, you wanna trade? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I could probably have, uh, you know, asked for some uh, gold, but eh. I will hear what you have to say. Eh. I'll make up the gold during the trade anyway. Military access? Do we wanna? Uh, yeah, let's be friends for now. Oh. Hey, you want to trade too? Should I trade with these guys? I do want to really destroy them. Eventually, I will. Oh, mods. I'll, the only mod I have is the camera mod. So everything else is pretty much uh, vanilla. Do I want to be allies with these guys? Ugh. That's a good question. Hmm. Mm. We'll hold off on that. See how the relationship uh, shapes out later on. Let's take a quick look at what he's got in his skills. Oh. Knight's Vow. Questing Vow. 
Grail Val. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's no magic wielder. That's okay. That's okay. I guess my first target would be Miriamberg. Uh, the... How do I increase... What do I need to build to increase my uh, public order? This gives me gold. This gives me... Affected by peasant economy. Oh, okay. That's what they meant. Control. Control plus one in your adjacent province. Growth. Punishment. Ooh. Alright, so this is the capital, so we might as well get this here. Oh, wait. Did I hit the wrong one? Control. That's what this is, right? Yep. Okay. Good. Oh. Might as well do this, too. King Luan Leonker. And let's move him. Yeah. Shoot, how far do I need to go to set up an ambush? Mm, it's this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm remembering stuff. I'm remembering. Uh, minimum requirements to assume 25%. All right, so I need to hit the last bar on that little thing there. Uh-oh. I always mess this up. Oh, oh I mean, we're not... Making my way. This might be enough. Okay, it looks like it is. Yeah. I Maybe I can bait him into, you know, kind of squeezing his way over here and uh, getting that sweet, sweet ambush. Let's end the turn. Mm hmm. Ooh. You may still issue a commandment. Oh, I have the whole province. Where's this one? Oh, it's right there. Interesting. Okay. Growth would be nice. Recruitment cost would be nice. Uh, tax would be nice. Construction cost would be really nice. And research. Oh, control. Uh, oh, that's a really good one to have. 10 control. And vampire and chaos corruption resistance reduction. Hmm. I feel like if I get this, the tax would offset the balance for the recruiting. Oh, 10% though. And construction. But I lose the research and the recruitment cost. I don't want that. Construction cost is 10% for all buildings. I'm stuck between these three. What are this one again? No. This one is growth. Growth would be actually really nice too. I don't need this yet. I'm gonna go with growth. Oh. Well, actually. No, no, no. I just noticed my income. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with tax rate. We need to increase that income, and now we can end the turn. Woo! Alright. Chivalry, huh? That's really new. Green skinned and unpleasant land. Do we want to read this? Oh, green skin incursions. Turns remaining 20. The insidious, sickening green skins are coming. Oh. 20 turns? Magnus, 20. Oh, you son of a. Great. I just got this. I'm doing that. I am the blood of Gilles. I heard. Normal. I assent to your orders. What's, what's that? This is a peasant unit whose men are no longer able to work their farms. 
Oh, you currently have eight peasant units in all of your armies with your faction being able to support ten before suffering negative effects. Ah. I see. Can I? Why can't I? Un, undo that. There you go. So they're all peasants, huh? So I only can get two more before I start getting negative effects. Let's see. Let's look at what we got. Got two of these. I don't want any more of those then. We got one of these. They're all... Oh, except for my horses. Okay. But they're all peasants. So we have two of these. Two trebuchets. A bunch of cavalry. I guess I can use... It. Hmm. Men at arms would be nice to have. Yeah, let's compare this with the spear men at arms. Oh! Their melee attack. Anti large. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get one of each. That uh, should be good. And then we'll attack on the next turn. Maybe. Miriam burn. Uh, but let's hope the control doesn't go down that fast. Because that would not be good. We're at war with him, too. How powerful is my garrison? Oh! Yeah, they can hold off a siege. Warrior king. For the lady! The lady <sighs> on my right! I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. No, I forgot about the garrison and I was just talking about the garrison. Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm a fool. Oh. It's been a while. Break Farewell. the siege. <laughs> Oops. The lady's chosen. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, wrong King button. Lewin, there we go. I take my leave. Hopefully. Oh, he might not be able to use his garrison if he decides to attack. Or him. Cro oh. oh, I completely I have forgot. returned. What's her skill when she uh, deploys? Oh, where have you been all my life, Lady Florence? The voice, the bois. My no path idea. is clear. If you know how to talk French, Our lady if you speak French, correct me on my accent. All right, so now we have a. Uh, oops. Nice thing. Oh, we should have used her before. Save some sweet cash. Alright, so we have that much turns, huh? I'm not at war with him, right? All these two guys. And up north. Let's end the turn. So that was a terrible idea. Shoot, I can't attack any of them with the size of my forces. By the light of the lady. That's not good. How the heck am I supposed to do this then? Cross the ocean? <laughs> I might actually do that. Let's see. What's my chance for ambush here? 70? I go forth. And set Maybe he'll be interested enough to do his thing. Can I recruit any nope. Damsel and Paladin. Recruit Lords. Intelligent. Uh chivalry plus five. Uh, Self-defense plus five, winning aggressors, ambush defense plus ten, uh, chivalry plus ten, Ooh, bonus versus versus large. Do I have any mages? Are these ladies mages? Prophets. Chivalry plus five. Uh, control plus one would be nice. Campaign line of sight plus five. Mm hmm. Chivalry, melee, area, and then minus three. 
Here, nope. I don't want anybody with red. Oh, in comfort buildings. Ooh. <clears throat> Am I getting this wrong? But I might be getting this wrong. But does sh chivalry help with order? I mean, control. Or am I off on that? Ambushing? Ah, oh, lose chivalry because of that. What the heck? Good to know. Hmm. M -m 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 I need control, and I'm willing to waste 270. Oh, maybe not. Screw it. I'm gonna do it. Life. Let's do it. Devotee of the lady. Oh, oh. I like uh, your voice. My magic is yours. And that helps uh, a little bit. It's not. What was it again? Twenty-one? Or not twenty-one? Eleven? Not bad. Not bad. Minus two chivalry for ambush. Interesting. Oh, crap. Champion of the lady. By Sigma, no! Would he be able to reach me? Luan Leoncoeur. I refuse. You I'm gonna... the lady's favor. Oh, this is gonna be a terrible idea. Terrible yes. idea. But I'm gonna do it. My journey begins. I'm gonna go over here and hit this as quickly as I can. How's the garrison? Not bad. And I'll just destroy it. He'll probably move up since he can see me here. <gasps> Economic investment. Banish uncertainty. Invest in the kingdom's future. Very good. Now what? Mm, leadership plus five, growth plus ten. Income from farms. I'm just gonna do the little, the first ones first, and then we'll see what options are after that. The lion. Ah. Uh, so we're most likely gonna have to deal with a rebellion soon. Mm -hmm. Will he move this turn? Will he move in the next? Will he move at all? Can he even see me? He doesn't move. Aha. Beastmen and Artois province surplus. Nice. Nice. Which means. Oh, they're both at two. Good to know. I am the blood of Gilles. Yes, you Smite are. To them. As the first battle of a new faction, we will fight it. Even though, I mean, look at we're gonna win this in auto say auto battle anyway. But still, let's fight it. And so you will see. How terrible I am <laughs> at this game. And I'm playing with a, a remote too, by the way. I'm not using a mouse and key, so I'm only going to be able to use the bindings that I have on my remote. I mean, I, I will probably, in a pinch, use the keyboard for some special moves. Maybe. But of the if I don't need to, I'll avoid it. Shoot, I don't see them anywhere. Ooh, and they have a hill. All right, how do I do this again? Who are these guys? Peasant mob. There are 80 of them, huh? 60, 60. So they're my damage absorbers, huh? Spread them apart. I'm just going to have my guys at the flanks. Yep. There. There. Mm hmm. These guys. There. This guy right there. And 
Who are these guys? Anti-infantry, huh? Anti-large, anti-large. Perfect. I'll have you right there. Who's this? Very fast anti-large. I have a lot of different cavalry. I don't know which one's better. Let me know. I'll probably read it later. <laughs> At some point in time. What's their range? 160? Not that bad. Trebuchets? I don't know if these will be able to move uh, during a battle. And have them right there, right behind. Grab all these guys and uh, group them, lock the formation, start the battle, let's go. Oh, he's coming after me. Or he's just adjusting his formation. Let's speed it up to see. Ah, oh, he's coming after me. Well, if that's the case, uh, I'll just have him go right here. To my All right. Oh, they do move. My trebuchets do move. What kind of guys do they have? They have a few archers. Ooh, he's got more range. 160, same amount of range, actually. Ow. That's okay. My lord? He's not, uh, he doesn't have a French accent. Orders, my lord. I'm just pressing, there we go, that's the button. Like I said, <laughs> I'm gonna pause every time. Well, I'll try not to pause that much, actually. I'm just checking this, I just need to check my bindings because I don't remember which, which what. No, I have a shift binding on this, but no, that's not it. This, oops, wrong button. This. And is it uh, this? Here we go. That's a button. All right. All right. We may continue. All right. Now they're gonna attack. You guys, do your thing. What kind of magics do you have? You don't have missile and magic resistance, huh? Go after their guy. Cavalry. Just go after their archers. Yeah, I figured that. You go after them. That's how terrible I am. I'm already I already lost the guy. An auto battle, I would probably would have just lost like a cut handful. Suck. Who's this? Is this my anti infantry? Yes, it is. Help me out. No, anti infantry. There you are. Need help. Help. Slam to the back. Probably should have gotten a little bit closer. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, they're uh, Miriamberg. They have a more flamboyant uniform than I expected. Oh, this is a settlement, so we don't really need to. They're all die anyway. End battle. Dang, plebs. Running away, not killing anybody. God. Even my trebuchet's got some. This guy took out 21 of my guys. 
That was a terrible battle for me. Horrible. At least we got some gold. Out of it. And then, oh, I wanted to raise. Should I sack it? What's this? Ooh, minus 30. Minus 100. Uh, what would effect would that have? I want to know. Follower gained as knights in training. Squires assist the masters on and off the field of battle. Magic item drop plus 4%. Speed plus 15. A display of noble action and good intent, my lord. Good things will come to those that possess these virtues. But my my chivalry went down. My, my chivalry. Chivalry lost. Minus 30. Sacked settlement ambush. Chivalry gained. Lord traits. Decisive victories. Oh. Can I attack it again? Cleanse our land! Yes. I don't lose any chivalry, huh? Should I occupy it? I mean, I'm not going to do anything with it. They're going to attack it again, and I'm not going to leave my troops there. I'm going to do it. Your plan is on the Maybe I should. Oh, never mind. Dang it. Mm-hmm. Oh, ho. Maybe it would be nice to have some pox shelter for growth and casualty replenishment. Oh, this is nice. Is this new? The X? I don't remember this being there. Huh. Anyway, we need to level I him up. I am the blood of Gilles. I want the 10% movement range. Oh, and that's it. Right. That's it. What else? Anything else needs to be done? Oh, definitely. That. Minus 10 leadership and 5 control. Your coming was foretold. You seek the lady's favor. Hmm. Maybe now I can... Trade with some other people. Yeah, I need some Welcome of that sweet, friends. sweet gold. Let's hope we can come to an accommodation. How's about a trade agreement first? Yeah. I'm gonna just trade with Welcome everybody. Screw it. Red? I don't know. He might accept. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I see doubts in your heart, noble mm. knight. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's practically impossible. I'll probably have to do a non-aggressive aggression pact with him. I will listen, but my time is short. Definitely with these guys. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, how's about these guys? No treaties. Approach and make your offer, but I make no promises to my assent. Thank you. All right, at least we got one of the empire people. For no, no, no! Don't attack me. <laughs> uh, hmm. Anybody else? Musulman. Mm, I think that's it. I kind of want to have, and I can recruit more. I'm gonna do it. It'll give me the income, and it'll also give me the ability to recruit better or troops here, because these are gonna be recruited at another location. <clears throat> All right, let's see what they're gonna do next. Will they move their troops to me? 
Rival power oh. comes to parley. Peace treaty. Demanding hmm. change in your mutual relations. Hmm. Consider their offer carefully. Their offer. I make out with uh one of their territories. I also Huh, this is an interesting proposition. I do need to get rid of the orcs. I don't know if I'll be able to get a access. Some mm. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Ho! Ha ha! What are you doing, hmm? These Trust are passing. troubled times indeed, when such unchivalrous actions are deemed just. Let us turn a blind eye to them for now. What? A blind eye? To this transgression? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Are we still in a... Peace? Yeah. Yep, yeah, looks like we are. Hmm. Where are they at? Marienburg. Hmm. Oh, go away. What to do? Many unscrupulous actions have taken you down a dark and unchivalrous path, my lord. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I can recruit two more. Right? Yeah, two more. By the light of the lady. I am probably going to lose this to the ladies rebels, chosen. but I don't care. King Luan Leoncourt, I assent. I want to see if he's going to attack, or maybe I can use this lady to do stuff. Let's see, assault unit forty-five percent is not that bad. Not that bad at all. Hmm. This only works on people you can see, right? I don't remember. Yeah, let's assault yes, them. Find them. Oh, thank you. Check out the skills. I'm mainly gonna have her as a uh, agent and not as a fighter. So, construction cost is modified for additional temp. Ooh, yes, perfect. From all buildings, additional five percent damage. It come from all buildings, uh, damage buildings. Yeah, this is she's pretty good with this. Where the Empire. Where will you go? Are you going to attack or are you going to retreat? Oh, oh. He's not. See. Let the games begin. Happy populace plus four control. That's good to know. I need it. Glory awaits. I just want to recruit guys from here. I can get two more. I would rather not have these guys in my. I shall do what I can. What? Yep. Let me get rid of them anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, they're at war. And another surplus. Good. Definitely gonna lose this. That's okay. Unless I lose chivalry, then what I might actually behest? try and keep it. 
making my way. We will raise great edifices. But uh <clears throat> I think I'm gonna end the episode off here, guys Champion and gals. Uh hmm. I'm actually liking this. I wasn't sure at first. This chivalry thing is uh, strange, but it, it's new. I like it. Um, hmm, I think uh, I might continue with this one. But I still don't know how the elves are. So on episode 1.2, because this is going to be 1.1, we're going to do the elves next. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Total War Warhammer. I am Lazy Burns, and uh, again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.